Hello and welcome to a brief overview of the Money Ledger Pro Bookkeeping Program for USA Truckers. In this video you will see how you can easily keep track of all your business and personal expenses and revenue with this program. Let's take a brief look at the screens and enter a few transactions. The screen you're looking at now is the opening screen, which is the first screen you will see each time you launch the program. In the middle of the screen you will notice three buttons current file, new file, and open file. To start the program for the very first time you will need to choose the new file button to create a brand new bookkeeping file. We are now in our main working screen and as you can see from the top we've created a new file but let's give it a more descriptive file name. And then to do that you would choose the save button. So when you click on save, you'll be presented with a screen where you can choose the folder where you would like the file to be saved in. And you can also choose any file name that you would like descriptive of your bookkeeping year. So if we want to call this one ABC Bookkeeping, and then we choose save in our example. Then at the top you can see the file name is now ABC Bookkeeping. Okay, before we start doing our entries, it's important that we set up the program initially. And this is a one-time process. At the top right, you can choose the Setup button to go into the Setup screen. And once you're in the Setup screen, we simply follow through the prompts. Top left, we can choose the beginning of our financial year. On the right, we can choose the first month of our financial year. And then the next section is Accounts. And here we can set up all the various credit cards and bank accounts that we're using for tracking our funds. On the right you can choose the X to delete a row. At the bottom you can choose to add. Choose close when you're done. Then we're scrolling down. We, in the next section we can set up and choose our income category names. So here we again we can add income categories and we can delete them on the right. And also on the left, you see there's items to appear on business financial statement. So if the income category name is strictly personal and it's not business related, you can uncheck that. But if the income category is business related, then leave it checked so it'll appear on the business financial statement. Choose close when done. Scrolling down to the next sections where we set up our expense category names and details along with them. So at the bottom, we choose edit category. And this will take us into our edit screen for our expense categories. And here we have various columns. The center column are the expense category names. And you can edit those any way you wish. And we can also add more by choosing the add button at the bottom. And you can delete them by choosing the X on the far right. To the right of the expense category names, we have split percentages, business and personal. So, for example, if you have an expense that you would like to split between personal and business use, such as an automotive expense. So, for example, we can choose to split our automotive expense between business and personal 30, 70, or any ratio that you would like. And you simply set it up here. And later, when you do your entry, and we're going to show you an example in a few minutes, you can choose this expense entry to be strictly business, strictly personal, or split between the two. And when you choose split, it'll automatically do the math for you. Same with home office expenses. So if you have a home office and you have a heat bill come in and you want to split that 10% personal or 10% business, I should say, and 90% personal, you can choose those ratios here. And then when you choose the split class, when you do your entry later, it'll do that math for you as well. Okay, and on the left-hand side, of the screen, we have items to appear on business financial statement. So for example, if you have items that are business related, such as bank charges, and you want that to show up in your business financials, you would leave that checked. If you have other items that are strictly personal in nature, such as cable TV, or perhaps gifts or groceries, you can leave those unchecked. And these will only show up on your total overall summary but will not show up on your business only summary statements. Once you're done, just choose close. And we've done our expense category setup. 
Then finally at the very bottom we have pre-written descriptions. Now for common entries that are repetitive, instead of writing out the descriptions each and every time, you can simply pre-write them. And then when you're doing the entry, you simply choose them off the list and you can also edit them as well. When you're done all your changes in the setup screen, just click Save Changes and Close. And that'll take us back to the main. Okay, we've created a new bookkeeping file and we've completed our setup. We're now ready to make our entries. So to make entries, there's a button at the top left, a green one, it says Enter Record. So simply choose that and it'll come up with an Enter Record screen. And here we just simply follow the prompts. At the very top, if you choose to use this, you can choose No Receipt. Or if it's foreign currency, you can choose that. Or if you're reconciling from your bank statement, you can choose the X. Or you can simply leave that one blank. Then we can go to the date and choose the date. Let's say it's September 17th. Let's say it's a visa entry. And let's say here we can choose from personal, business, or split. So let's make this a split entry. And let's use automotive, gas, and oil as our category and we can write out our description here manually or we can pre-choose it. So let's say it's an SO fuel gas for the car and we can even edit that entry as well here. We put in our amount and at the bottom we choose submit and you can see behind me the entry is being posted up and populated on the screen. And we can do our next entry 19th of September we have something going to savings account, it's business, and let's say it's income. And we can simply choose whatever pre-written description we've set up or edit it as we like. And choose submit. And our entry's done. So that's really all there's to it. You simply go through your receipts and invoices and enter them by using these prompts. Choose close, you can see that here's our entries. You can also see our report screen by clicking on the report button and you can see all the different income and expenses and the totals for each. And as you notice when we did our split entry on the automotive gas and oil it took that $76 entry and split it between business and personal for us automatically and it put in the correct business amount under personal to keep us completely up to date. You can add notes to the bookkeeping file anytime you'd like for easy reference and you can simply go back to our record screen here you can filter our records out by month or by quarter. You can also sort them by date. You can also filter the records out by account type as well. Now let's go back and edit our entry. So at the top left you can see that there's an edit column where you can delete your entries or you can edit the entry itself. So let's go back to our entry and take another look at it. Now you notice on the bottom of the enter record screen there's a button called receipt manager. And this feature allows you to take digital images of your receipts using your computer webcam. On the free apps that you can get for your smartphone and tablets this feature is also available and you're going to notice in the app video where it tells you how to use the phone apps and the tablet apps that you can make bookkeeping entries based on this screen here and you can also take digital images using your smartphone camera or tablet camera. But anyway, in this case, we're using our software. And if you like, you can click on the Receipt Manager button to take us into the Receipt Manager window. And here we have several options. We can scan a receipt using our webcam. You can browse your computer for an existing image and attach it to this bookkeeping entry. And near the bottom, you can choose various images and you can attach multiple images to one bookkeeping file. This makes it easy for archiving, printing and retrieval of receipts on every bookkeeping entry that you have. So we have a bookkeeping image already uh, associated with this entry just for sample purposes. And you can choose to delete it or you can choose to view it just by clicking on it and you can print this receipt out or you can go back to our window. So let's show and demonstrate how to scan a receipt using your computer webcam. You would simply choose the scan receipt button, the camera would load, and once it's loaded, you simply hold the receipt in place, choose scan or rescan if you're not happy with the image. You gotta just hold it steady. And there you have an image. You can print it or you can choose done. And this receipt 
now it appears here with a file name with the current date. If you want to change that file name, you could. Once you're satisfied, just click Submit. And now it's on the list of images for that bookkeeping entry. Go back to the main screen, save changes, and we're all set. Okay, and finally at the very top, you notice these larger buttons. You can create new bookkeeping files anytime you would like. You can open old bookkeeping files or other bookkeeping files that you've been working on. You can save, export to a PDF or a spreadsheet file. You can print your reports and you can go to your setup screen here. The other thing that's important to note is that next to the bookkeeping file name, there's a little star which allows you to tag this file as the current file that you're working on. So by clicking that, next time you open the program on the main screen, you're going to be able to choose current file and then the program will simply find the bookkeeping file and load it for you. You don't have to go searching for it. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for tuning in.